everybody. It is September 23rd, 17 days till the 2011 Pass Summit, so we're doing another quick video. Hi, I'm Jen McCown of MidnightDBA.com. Today we're going to talk just a little bit about why I keep telling everybody, why everybody keeps telling all the new time, uh, first timers, why you should get on Twitter. Um, <clears throat> I, I believe I explained it recently that Twitter did for the internet what cell phones did for long distance oral communication. Um, yeah, it's, it's that good. Uh, how to use it, it, it's simple enough. You get an account, you log on, you start following people, right? You follow Midnight DBA, you follow the people that I talk to, and you kind of branch out to people that you know you're interested in, that kind of thing. But, you know, how much should you tweet? What should you tweet about? What's it for? That, that really varies per user. I mean, Facebook and, and MySpace were kind of made, I don't know, if with a, with a thing in mind, but people more or less use it one way, you know, this is what I'm doing, this is something I find interesting. And that's, that's kind of how you use Twitter, but you don't have to, and a lot of people have really branched out. Uh, comedians post some some jokes and announcements, and we post just random thoughts, and um, we have uh, the ability to follow conversations across the, the entirety of Twitter using hashtags, which is just a pound sign and then a word, right? So the most uh, popular SQL help, uh, sorry, the most popular tag is uh, SQL help in the SQL community. Uh, you can go on and get books, and, uh, uh, authors, and it's early, so I'm, the words aren't coming out right. But um, you can get all kinds of people just jumping on your question with a SQL help hashtag. And there, there are SQL help police that, make, that monitor and make sure that people don't just post advertisements and stuff on there. We don't like that kind of thing. But anyway, so how should you use Twitter? That's something you're kind of going to have to get a feel for. Um, but start off just join in a couple conversations, comment on something, reply back to somebody, say hi to somebody. Um, and before you even get started, you should go check out Brent Ozar has written and provided, here that'll we'll focus in a second, The Simple Twitter Book. If you go to brentozar.com uh, slash twitter slash book, it's right there for you. Um, what else? But yeah, the getting on Twitter, it'll help you coordinate with people, you know, you, you can get on, there's there's going to be a SQL Pass hashtag for while we're at the Pass Summit, and people get on and they say, oh, I'm going to the Tap House, you know, I'm about to go here, does anyone want to share a cab, um, you know, wow, this session is great, you just, you miss out on this entire dimension of the Summit if, if you're not on Twitter, and yeah, I sound like a zealot, but I, I'm a convert, it's a lot of fun, it's good stuff. Uh, as a matter of fact, Twitter is the thing that got me my first past summit. This is the 2009 shirt I'm wearing. You can't see it's too dark. Um, but I, I won a contest because I heard about it on Twitter and got on and won a trip to pass. So, um, and then finally, I'll just show it to you on my phone. I have a tweet deck on my phone. It gives you the option of having multiple um, columns. So, general messages of people I follow, messages about me, and then. Uh, personal messages. So so that's my spiel on Twitter and why it's cool for the past summit and 17 days left guys. I'll see you there.